Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here with Alberto, also known as Aito, and he's an Miara. He's gonna be talking to us a little bit more about his car, and we're gonna be working on it today. We're gonna do a uh, steering rack, uh, clutch if we have time, and diff, because uh, he's putting an LSD, LSD diff into the car. And also, we're gonna do the real caliper. So I'm gonna leave you guys right now with Aito. He's gonna talk a little bit more about what he's gonna do with the car. Hey guys, so I'm here with my 95 MX-5. Um, I've had the car for a couple years. This is my second car. I, I had one before this one, and I had a pretty bad accident with it. Uh, we found I found another chassis. We rebuilt it, pulled motor, uh, rebuilt the entire car, painted it, and uh, you know, then I got a daily. And the car was sitting for a while. And the guys here at Miami Fine told me that uh, I should bring it and turbo it. So we spent a buttload of money on it, and today we're gonna see what else we can fuck up. Okay, so here we have the ports. We have the clutch the clutch max. Rear main seal. Some eBay clutches. I heard it's really good, but we're gonna try we're gonna it. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna end up burning it all, so it doesn't really matter. So we have that. We have the clutch. So we, yeah. we got. Let me show you the caliper. We got the calibers for the back. We got the calibers here for the back. Pretty nice. Yep. We got the. 430 ratio or LSD for the Miata because you know the non-LSD is a piece of shit. This is from a 99. From a NB. From it's an NB Miata, but it should be the same. We're gonna find that out later on. Uh, we have the new rag and pinion right here. It looks pretty fresh compared to what we have on the car. So we got we got this, the, the steering rack out. Pretty simple. You take off both knots and the bushings on each side here. Right here. Two screws. Two screws here. The screw in the back over here is gonna be a little difficult to take out. Yeah, the one for the steering, uh, yeah. the steering column right there. And for the steering column, that was a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to take out, but it's doable. It's doable. Then you're gonna re uh, remove this line right here, and you're gonna move this line this right line. here. You might wanna get something to drain it because you're gonna drain a lot more fluid than you see on the floor right now. Yeah, so you're gonna drain a lot. Trust me. The car has not a lot left, but. <laughs> so you're gonna drain a lot because there's fluid still in the lines. some food we already put the steering rack on so when we get back we're probably gonna finish tightening everything up and from there we're gonna jump to the diff hopefully we can get that done today we're gonna stop at the auto ports and then we're gonna go to the taco bell to get some fucking tacos so we can eat all right guys so we just got here to the band's auto ports we're gonna get all the fluids that we need get all the fluids that we need and get something to drink aido aido can't take it no more I'm hungry, bro. I'm a grown boy. Yeah, no. Yeah, you pay day. Don't pay day, bro. No. Listen, we're going to do car. Can I get in your car? No. All the the leak you're seeing is because I overflowed. Uh, the you overflowed it. Because yeah, I overflowed the system yeah, by accident, and I uh, I dropped the whole tank like outside. I forgot I was uh, filling it up, and there's a result of it. Yes. But right now we're gonna let that there, and we're gonna go back here to the diff. We're gonna be getting the diff out and putting the LSD one in. So let's go. All right, guys. So right now we have the diff out already. We got the axles out too. They are in super bad shape. Look at this, super bad shape. So now I sent uh, Alberto to the auto parts and he's gonna get um, new axles for the back and we're gonna be swapping the diffs. Right now we have to remove the front of it and then put the back housing of that one, the LSD one, 
into this one. Uh, we should be good to go. And after that, we're gonna drop the transmission. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so it's been a really long day. We've been doing a lot of stuff to the Miata. So right now, Bird is still getting those axles for the back. Uh, they didn't have in the first uh, bands out of port, so now he's going to the next one uh, to get it real quick, but it's kind of far, like 30 minutes away. So right now what I'm doing, uh, as soon as I raise the car, I will show you guys. But I already uh, kind of unbolt uh, most of the, um, of the bolts from the tranny. So right now what I'm working on, I'm gonna get the center console out so I can remove the shifter, so I can uh, drop the transmission while I wait for Alberto to come back so he can, so we can finish mounting the, the new diff and the, and the rear axis. Like I said, it's been a really long day. Look at my arms, really tiring, but we're here and we're gonna be finishing the car here, hopefully. So stay with us, all right? This is the old clutch right here. Look at this, look at the condition of this. I think. He has this clutch on since 1995. Fucking garbage. All right, guys. So the clutch is already in. It's already 1010, and we haven't done shit. We haven't accomplished nothing. Nothing at all. Here we have the diff. Oh shit! I almost tripped. We got the diff. We got the tranny right there. And it's been a fucking mention with this piece of shit. You got something to say? I'm gonna sell it. Buy a Toyota. Fuck. Right now we're working on the diff so we can mount it on. And making some gasket right here. And I guess calipers tomorrow. And then yeah, it's calipers, again. they're gonna have to wait because it's already... What time is it? I don't even wanna know. I don't, ni me diga. I, I don't wanna know. <laughs> 11.14. And we've been here since oh 9 in the morning. Oh my god. 9 in the morning? Earlier. I, I've been here earlier. Yeah, because I got here 7.30. Yeah. And then you came like 8, 8, 8.30. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a long ass day. Quick little tip before uh, we put this up all the way. When you're gonna put in your screws for your differential, you might want to make a little like template template or something because all of the, the screws are exact different same. lengths. Yeah, they're different lengths. So, so you might want to, you have to remember where, they, where they're gonna go and how they're gonna go. So you don't have any issues down the road. So make a template. So you can do that easily. So right now we already have the diff on top. One of the new axes. One of the new axes already in. We're just looking for a screw to tie it up on, on top. And we should be balling after we put both of them. Dry shaft, the dry shaft uh, train, uh, dry shaft support. Everything's gonna go here. Uh, we should be good to go. Welcome guys, I'm, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here with Aid. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Me <laughs> I'm introducing you guys to my classmate. <laughs> okay, that's it.